Let's talk about uh, another guy who, who's beloved by many golfers and fans, Matt Kuchar. Uh, Got to be sitting on top of that list. Best player never to win a major. Let me read you his quote after this one. He said, to be this close, to taste it with five holes to go, it's a hard one to sit back and take. He's now 39, Allen. Do you ever think he's going to break through and get that major title? You know, he, he has a lot of top tens. He A lot of our, the backdoor variety, but he puts himself in the mix. And, you know, part of winning a, a major is you have to have your heart broken first, usually. And uh, this was this was obviously Kuchar's signature heartbreak. Um, he's such a steady player that you, you, any conditions suit him, any golf course suits him. But it was interesting, you know, he... There was a, there was a little moment there on 13 where you know Kucher hit his best shot of the day into that green and granted he had to wait a heck of a long time to make that putt, but that was a classic match play scenario. If he makes his birdie putt, maybe Spieth misses his bogey putt and and the open could have been over. And to win a major, there's there's one or two little little moments that you have you have to you have to embrace. You have to you have to take the opportunities when they come. You know Kucher misses his birdie putt, Spieth makes his bogey putt. And we know what happened after that. And, you know, there was a lot of talk about how great Kuchar played. I think he played really solid. There's no doubt. But he he was hitting to the middle of the greens. He just didn't put any pressure on speed coming down the stretch. And uh, so I, I think overall it was an encouraging performance by Kuchar just to get himself in the last group and, and hold up. But he, he didn't do that one special thing you have to to win the tournament. And obviously Spieth did. So maybe he'll learn from that and he'll be a little more aggressive. He'll be a little more fearless the next time. Or or maybe this one's going to haunt him. You know, we'll see. But uh, I, I think I think Kuchar's going to hang around for a while. And, and that's just the key. Keep putting yourself in, in that position. And sooner or later, you, you got to assume the brakes will go his way. Well, and Alan, we know 39 on tour is the new 29, right? I mean, we could have another 10, maybe even 15 years of great play from Matt Kuchar. Where do you think is his best chance for that big breakthrough? You know, he's such a fairways and greens kind of player. You, you would think the U.S. Open. Now, obviously, um, Aaron Hills would turn into a slugfest, but we're heading to some intimate little venues with with uh, Shinnecock Hills and with, with Pebble Beach. And you think about next year's open at Carnoustie, that's very much a position golf course, doesn't really reward power. So, uh, you know, the Masters and the PGA are, are, tend to be more bombers, majors, just because of obviously Augusta National is always favored that and the PGA is usually softer and, and uh, is set up for more aggressive play. So I think I think one of the opens is Kuchar's best chance um, and the, the venues the next few years really, really suit him nicely.